So from GCSE, when you looked at scatter graphs, you should be quite uh, proficient and knowledgeable about the idea of correlation. So what you'll have met is a positive correlation, which I'm sure you know, something looks like this. For example, that's positive correlation going from the bottom left to the top right. Uh, then you've got a negative correlation. Okay, something looks like that, going from the top left to the bottom right. And then you've got no correlation, where the data is all over the place. Okay, so this would be positive correlation. And negative correlation. And no correlation. So you would be inferring from this that as one variable increases, the other increases. As one variable increases, the other decreases. And this, well, be, there's no correlation. Okay, there's no, nothing connecting them. Now, um, you should also be aware of the strength of the correlation. So the closer um, the data points are to a straight line, the better the correlation, the stronger the correlation. So you can have very strong positive correlation, for example, which would almost be in a straight line. Okay, so, so data that appears in a perfect straight line has perfect positive correlation going from bottom left to top right. Okay, whereas this might just have strong positive correlation, or you could have weak positive correlation. Okay, so there's different levels of correlation involved. But everything to do with correlation, when we talk about correlation, has to do with where it, whether it fits a straight line model or not. So uh, the better the correlation, the closer it is to a straight line. However, two things may ha be connected, um, but aren't necessarily uh, working in a straight line. So if I drew something like this, okay, you'd be thinking that, well, as one is increasing, the other is increasing, okay? And it seems to have uh, a pr be pretty strong at doing that. However, it's not strong correlation because if I try to draw a straight line through it, okay, I could kind of get a relatively good straight line, but if I continue this data going up, and it's going up and getting steeper, it's actually going round in a curved shape. So a straight line doesn't really match it. So actually, it's going to come across as having pretty weak positive correlation. However, you can see that actually, it's got a very strong connection. And that's when we start to talk about association. So association and positive or negative association is talking about um, a connectedness between the two variables that isn't necessarily linear. Okay, When you're talking about correlation, you're talking about a straight line model. With association, it can be curved. Okay, The data can be curved. So that's really the key difference between these two words. It's almost like correlation okay, is a specific example of association. So that's really what you need to get out of those two.